Hey, Popeye, are the latest. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. In today's journey, we are going to go back and we are going to drive in Negril. We are going to be starting at the Texaco gas station. And we are heading through the town of Negril, then up to the beach road. So, sit back, relax and enjoy this journey with me. Now, earlier, we posted the finalists for the Sing the Chorus competition. The voting will be closed off at 6 p.m. tomorrow. If you haven't yet checked it out, please go and listen to them and vote for, well, you can vote for at least five contestants. Vote for your five favorite contestants. On Sunday, we'll be announcing the winners. Yeah, man, we have to have a little fun sometime. You know? <laughs> Quicksilver, once again, happy birthday to you, sir. As also your father, no respect. Now, that man on your screen, his name is Lincoln Malawu. Now, Lincoln Malahu, he's popularly known as Tyler because he's a Tyler by trade. On September 9th, next month, he will be celebrating his 45th birthday. Lincoln, he lived at Shrewsbury District in the parish of Westmoreland. Now, anybody who know Lincoln, they will tell you that one thing about him, he work hard, but he drink him liquor hard. It is said that most times, you see Lincoln, he's under him waters. Now, do you know what being under your waters mean? Or Lincoln being under him waters, do you know what that means? It means drunk. Under your waters means you're under your liquor. Yeah, man, you're drunk. Now, if it's one thing I am sure about is being under your waters and going into water, them no agree. Do you know what I mean by that? It means that if you are drunk, getting into deep water, either river or the ocean, that should be avoided at all cost. So, on Tuesday, August 16th, 2022, sometime in the afternoon, it is said that Lincoln, he went to the Rhone River in Westmoreland to hold a swim. We are told that Lincoln was under his waters. It is said that Lincoln, he went into the river and that was it. He was not seen or heard from since then. Yesterday, Thursday, August 18th, 2022, some family members, they went into the water to search for Lincoln. We are told that his body was found at a section in the river called White River. His body was found by one of his brothers. The body of Lincoln, it was subsequently taken out. Sad indeed. We'd like to take time out to say condolences to the family and friends of Lincoln. May his soul rest in peace. Now, in yesterday's video, we told you that a man was shot and seriously injured by the police in Lucy. And we had promised to do some digging and update the story. So, here goes. This one, it took place along Main Street in Lucy. It took place about minutes after 9 o'clock yesterday morning. Thursday, August 18th, 2022, we are told that an off-duty police officer, he was in an establishment when persons who knew him as a police officer, they went and told him that a man who is said to be of an unsound mind, he was on the street attacking mostly women and children. It is said that this man, he was armed with a piece of board. We are told that the policeman, he went and made checks. And there was the man with the piece of board attacking a lady. We are also told that the police officer, he identified himself to this man and told him to drop the piece of board. Instead of dropping the board, it is said that this man, he attacked the police officer with it. We are told that the police officer, he took evasive action, drew his gun and fired one round in the man's direction. The man and the board they fell to the ground. It is said that this man, he received a gunshot wound to the left side of his chest and it exited through his right side. This man, he was rushed to the Noel Holmes Hospital where he has been admitted in a serious condition. We have not yet gotten the name of this man, but like we told you, it is said that he is of an unsound mind. Now, if there is any other update, we will certainly 
be updating this story. Now, you would have heard the story about a hoodlum who was wanted by the St. James police on gun charges. And it is said that this hoodlum, he was fleeing the island. But you are only hearing a piece of the story. We had carried the full story on this channel. So let me refresh your memory. On the afternoon of Wednesday, July 20, 2022, about 2.30, a man, his name is Andre Young. He was popularly known as Screamus. Screamus was 35 years old and he lived at Bobman Hill in the Lilliput area in the parish of St. James. Screamus, he was driving his Honda Stream motor car along the Rosal Main Road. He was heading towards Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. It is said that on reaching in the vicinity of the stoplight, right in front of the Hilton Hotel, a black Mercedes-Benz motor car drove up beside the car that Screamus was driving. Hoodlums in the Benz, they opened a barrage of gunshots at Screamus, killing him on the spot. The hoodlums, they then made a U-turn at the stoplight and head back towards Lilliput direction. Now, whilst the police were carrying out investigation into this matter, the killing of Screamus, they received intelligence as to who the hoodlums who might have killed Screamus are. As a result of this intelligence, the police, they went to a house at Bobman Hill in the Lilliput area. We are told that on approaching the house, four hoodlums were at this house. They managed to run off and elude the police. We are told that the police, they carried out a search of the house and those two illegal guns on your screen, they were found. Also, over 100 rounds were also found. It is suspected that those weapons are the weapons that were used to kill Screamus. And the four hoodlums who ran from the house are suspected to be the hoodlums who carried out the hit on Screamus. The names of the hoodlums who ran from the house are 1. O'Neill Reed. He is 36 years old and he's from Maldon District in the Maroon Town area in the parish of St. James. Tibal Clark, also known as TJ. He is 22 years old and he lived at Bobman Hill. Devante Williams, he is 24 years old and he lives at Peel Street in Falmouth in the parish of Trelawney. As also Russian Headley, he is 25 years old and he also lives in the Lilliput area in the parish of St. James. So over the weekend, Tibal Clark, also known as TJ, he tried to board a flight leaving Jamaica at the Norman Manley International Airport in Kingston. He didn't use the airport in Montego Bay because he thought he would have safe passage in Kingston. But he was held by the police at the airport and he was sent back to Montego Bay where he was charged for illegal possession of firearm and illegal possession of ammunition. Like we said, it is suspected that TJ is one of the hoodlums who were in the Screamus killing. So let's wait and see if the police, they're gonna unearth any evidence to charge him for murder as well. If there's any more updates, we will certainly be updating you. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? <laughs> yeah, man, the CM thumbs up button. Have you hit on it as yet? If you have not yet done so, Remember to hit on it. If you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, remember to hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. Now, in the final story for today, this one took place last night. Thursday, August 18th, 2022, about some minutes to 8 o'clock. It took place at a place named Spring Gardens in the Ulster Spring Police area in the parish of Trelawney. So here is what we are learning. A man, his name is Lennox Wright, but he's popularly known as Mark R. Wani. Mark, he is 48 years old and he was a farmer. He lived at Spring Gardens in the same Ulster Spring Police area. So Mark, he owns the house where he lived. And he also rented out a section of the house to some tenants. Mark, 
Like we told you, he's a farmer. Mark, he reared pigs at the back of his house. So, last night, Mark was at his home with his tenants when a white Toyota Axio motor car drove up and stopped at Mark's gate. One of the woodlums in the car, he called out Mark by name. Mark, he left out of the house and went out to speak to that person. We are told that the hoodlum, he told Mark that he wanted a pig to buy. Mark told this hoodlum, okay, let me go show you what I have to sell. Mark was taking this hoodlum to the back of his house to show him the pigs in the pig pen when another hoodlum jumped out of the car. This hoodlum, he had an AK-47 rifle in his hand. The other hoodlum who was talking to Mark. He pulled a 9mm pistol and both of them, they pumped several bullets into Mark's body. Mark was shot several times in his abdomen and his chest. The two hoodlums, they then boarded the Toyota Axio and both of them, they made good their escape. Mark, he was rushed to the Percy Junior Hospital where he was admitted in a serious condition. But about minutes after 2 o'clock, Early this morning, Mark lost his fight. He died whilst being treated. The police were informed and we are told that when they processed this crime scene, seven 9mm spent shells and five 7.62 spent shells. Remember now, 7.62 is what is used in an AK-47 rifle. So, seven 9mm spent shells as well as five 7.62 spent shells were recovered from the scene. These hoodlums, these hoodlums, they did not come to rob Mark. They came to kill. This was clearly a hit. But the big question is, who sanctioned this hit? The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe and share. Quick silver sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Jamaica, 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 Jama